speaking out for the first time since their son died after collapsing on Mount Kilimanjaro. The parents of Mr. Daryl Fee are still coming to terms with his death. Mr. Fee, 28, was an independent and soft-spoken man with many interests from boating to cocktail mixing, said his mother Madeline Fui at his wake at the Singapore Cascade on Thursday. The UBS bank executive died on August 9 from acute altitude sickness, which set in before the expedition group he was with attempted to reach the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro, Africa's tallest mountain. Madam Fui, 56, said Mr. Fi last contacted her on August 4 to tell her he was about to scale the mountain in Tanzania and would not have mobile reception. Be careful, she replied. Paying tribute to her son, the housewife said Mr. Fee always looked forward to different things. Her climbing trip to Switzerland in December was the next item on his bucket list. He was the oldest of three children. His sister Valerie Fee, a 26-year-old human resources executive, said he lived life to the fullest and enjoyed seeking new adventures and had been looking forward to seeing safari animals on Mount Kilimanjaro. On August 9, Mr. Fee's father was notified of his son being found unconscious. Mr. Jason Fee, 57, and Madame Fee rushed to book flights to Tanzania for the next day. They received news of their son's death on August 10. Only moments before they boarded a flight to Kota, from where they would fly to Tanzania. The older Mr. Fee, an aerospace engineer, said, Can you imagine what kind of impact it had on me? I was hoping he was still alive. When the couple touched down in Tanzania, they said they could not get the full details about what caused their son's death. Upon reaching the mortuary, Mr. Jason Fee said he couldn't take it and wanted to bring his son back as soon as possible because he did not want him to stay there alone in a foreign land. But the family had to wait for documents to be processed before Mr. Fee's body could be flown home. The Straits Times reported on Tuesday that the family was seeking answers on the tragedy. Expedition Group Adventures Unlimited has since provided Mr. Fee's parents and aunt with more details. But the family is still seeking more information on what could have led to his death. Before Mr. Fee fell unconscious, there was a change to the expedition's itinerary. This resulted in the group trekking to a higher altitude camp, bypassing one on a lower altitude, as per the original itinerary. Based on Avengers Unlimited's original itinerary, seen by ST, climbers were recommended to sleep at similar altitudes for three nights to aid acclimatization. The group slept overnight at Shira Camp 3, 8.45 am on August 5th and Bronco Camp 3, 9.60 am on August 6th. But instead of putting up at Karenal Camp 3, 963 m as originally planned on August 7, they ended up at Barofu Camp 4, 640 m In messages to the family, Adventures Unlimited said the group had lunch and rested at Karenal Camp on August 7 before proceeding to Barofu Camp for the night. This decision was made based on the professional experiences and knowledge of the local operator. It was not the first time its local operator, which was not named, used this itinerary. The operator was also of the view the itinerary change did not lead to Mr. Fee's death, said the group. On the morning of the summit attempt on August 8, Mr. Fee's oxygen levels plunged when he was at an altitude of 5, 400 m. The guides told him to turn back, Adventures Unlimited said. He was later found unconscious and taken to the Kilimanjaro Christian Medical Center. The expedition group said it contacted rescue service Kilimadair, but the helicopter was unable to fly owing to a fog. It said Mr. Fee died from asphyxia slash hape. Asphyxia occurs when the body is deprived of oxygen, while hape or high-altitude pulmonary edema happens 
when excess fluid is produced in the body's lungs. Both conditions can be fatal. Adventures Unlimited did not answer ST's queries on Thursday. Mr. Fee was a securities and foreign exchange trade processing specialist at UBS. A UBS spokesman told ST the bank was deeply saddened by his death. Daryl was well liked by his colleagues and loved by his family and friends. We are in close contact with his family and are doing everything possible to help them.